Who knew what darkness lurked in the heart of Gorgon? Captain Hawthorne and his crew were about to find out. I'm just hoping we don't need Lucky's arm to open something else. I don't, I doubt it. Why, why would, well, we've still got the arm, haven't we? I might still have the arm. And also, Felix, you do know that I'm not Captain Hawthorne. I mean, we have established this. I suppose I can't actually say my name. I'll take the model spaceship. Where am I headed? Okay, so let me just check objectives. Ocular verifier. Oh, it's over there. I thought it was back in the Sprat Shack. I don't know why. I think O should open my objectives. Uh, apparently this is a task for Perilon Gorgon. So the green one's a Perilon Gorgon. I hadn't checked. So this is stuff all over the chem lab, the observation room in HIA. Human inquiry and auditing. Phonograph in OCI. So there's a lot around OCI and I will need to go there. So I'll probably switch this on when I get to there. And then search for Jerome's flask somewhere in the ruins. Is there any way I can have a look at that? Is there a map? Yes, there is. See, it's over there. Oh, it's a bigger map than I thought it was. Right, 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 right. I don't know where everything specifically is, but I can see a bunch of entrances. I assume one of these is going to be OCI somewhere. I'm over here. There's there's the unreliable, so these are some buildings. Okay. Let's have a look at that one. See, the nearest one is uh, Electric Fling. This one that I was hoping to actually have a poke around at right now. So let's just double check. This presumably is where OCI is. And then that is, I think, oh, that's the wrong thing. Let's look at this one. That's down there. So I'm going to go up here first. So I'm going to I'm going to pick up that one part of the electric fling from that place that's relatively nearby, up here. There, portable phonograph. That seems like the first uh, port of call. But uh, I will also just quickly search around this little sort of area. There is. Well, this looks like it goes somewhere, doesn't it? That looks like a lift that presumably I will eventually be able to use once I unlock something. Is there a... There's no torch button, is there? You might be dangerous. And to that end, I might just have my weapon ready in case this terminal turns you on. There might be a torch button. Let me check. There most certainly is not a torch button. I think there's some... Thing you can take that makes it easy to see in darkness so I've never had that problem before this is the first time uh, okay so I am user tran D uh, electrical rationing is in effect by accessing, accessing this terminal you are you consent to paying one bit per every option selected I'm cool with that I've got 17,000 uh, okay check uh, electricity rationing bill uh, currently owes 9,508 bits that's actually quite a lot that's like half of my money Maybe if he asks me to. I'm going to keep charging to his account, though, because I'll probably pay him off at the end. Uh, shipment history. Mm. Outgoing shipments. Ending with 411. Perseus Loop E1. Loaded at Gorgon and discharged at Edgewater. Discharge date 2350-0114. 2,000 cartons containing redacted. Three discharge staff. Five reassigned staff. Alert manifest contents exceeds the recommended maximum weight of this vessel. Did they make it? Can I go to Edgewater and find out? And ending in TXY. Uh, voyage to Terra 1. Uh, loaded at Gorgon, discharged at Stella Bay, 2344. 100 car uh, cartons remaining prototype redacted. Two tons of raw, uh, raw ore of redacted. And 15 more reassigned stuff. Something going out of here they don't want us to know about. Uh, incoming shipments ending with Z7J. Bringing in 350 cartons containing 100 units each of sterile injection ampules, 30 high pressure steel cylinders containing oxygen, and 25 volunteers in 2349. And A8B. Three corporate security squads containing three fire teams each. 500 rounds of light ammunition. 2,000 rounds of heavy ammunition. 
and one flight containing 10 units of Moonman standee. I don't know what that is, but it makes me think there are soldiers here. These are from Byzantium and dropped at Gorgon. I didn't actually check. This came from Tartarus. 25 volunteers. Tartarus is the prison, isn't it? Check messages. Wow, there's a lot here. Incoming. From mostly C. To Tran D. Mr. Tran, are you aware of the concept of relativity? This is a rhetorical question. I am aware that Space's Choice training does not include business philosophy in its curriculum. Consider this a remedial education. Broadly, relativity is an economic idea. Sorry, I'm just going to skim this to make sure it's important. Okay, he's being reprimanded. From the point of view, your enterprising colleague uh, deports, exports, shipments, depot, exports, shipments at a positively pathetic rate. If a single one of your colleagues is capable of three times your productivity, then relative to your colleague, freight depot is a failure. Okay, so basically the company didn't, Space's Choice didn't much like how Mr. Tran was running things. To Ranyard S. Uh, from Tran. Buddy, I don't understand how you managed to log three times the number of shipments I do out of that miserable shack you call an office. But you need to cut it the fuck out. Mostly he's been poking at the Argosi, mostly is a weird name for a human being. Mostly he's been poking at the Argosi ship rate numbers again, and now he's starting to ask why Louis and I can't pack as quickly together as you can alone. I'm thinking maybe I should tell him you're dipping into the supply of prototype Adrena time. Don't think he'd like that, do you? Shit, maybe you are. If that's the case, well, maybe you ought to come and lend me and Lou a hand when we load up the next hall of test subject corpses. Get yourself a real good view of one uh, of what Chem's Wonder Drugs does. Well, I think we know what Redacted was. <laughs> Okay. Hostility detected. Please lower your hostility. If it becomes violent, I didn't actually meant to mean to exit then. I meant to read the archived messages, which I think are still in here. I don't mind charging to Tran's account now because he was loading uh, test subject corpses. Something from Va uh, Velasquez. Shipment inquiry to Tran from Velasquez. Vel Velasquez. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, you gotta help me out. The Monarch delivery has gone MIA, and now the big guy at corporate is messaging my personal terminal looking for answers. Not mostly, not good fellow. That seer sucker suit wearing motherfucker from Byzantium, Bancroft. Your kid cousin still works in Cascadia, right? Do you think he could hoof it over to Stella Bay and just, I don't know, poke around in port and see if it's there? Shipment is ending with TXY. I read that. Uh, transport we packed last week. I know it's a lot to ask, but... And you don't, and you know how I feel about begging for handouts, but I swear to the law, if I looked out my door at that Bancroft guy, he'd be there in the street slapping a wrench against his palm like a mob boss in one of those bootleg cereals from Groundbreaker. Please, man, I am... Uh, you know how fond I am of my kneecaps. Can I look at that? Shipment ID ending with TXY at Stella Bay. I could pop over. If I remember that's there. I hasn't given me a objective for it. Okay, I just want to have a look at that. Let's just quickly put my weapon away because I think it might be pissing off that guy. And yeah, we'll just drop down here. I wonder if I should go to Stella Bay and just, you know, go back to Monarch and maybe ask what's his face at MSI if they've picked up anything. That's an explosive barrel, I think. No, it's just your house again. I've already been through there. Alright, let's go check out this portable phonograph. There's a lot of force fields around this area. It's probably worthwhile having my weapon now, because this might be where the nasties are. The previously mentioned nasties. Made a mess of this place. Watch your back, boss. Shall, thank you. And you do so as well. Pick into that. Uh, take all of these... Bits and pieces. Two mag picks out of that, that's nice. Ooh, there's a thing below here. Heavy ammo, bit cartridges. I don't think this uses heavy ammo. And I can hack into this and take more stuff. I don't know what the Corporation Service Awards do. I don't think they do anything. 
Do I need... Oh, that's a level 84 helmet? I don't have anything that good, do I? My helmet is level 67. All right, let's do some swapping. I'm going to take that helmet. Uh, Felix, you're going to have the... Well, you've got 71 there. You've already got a better helmet. Why do you have a better helmet than I have? Why do both of you have a better helmet than I had? That's usually not how I do things. Usually I give myself the best shit. I must have forgotten. Okay. I hear noises. I don't see anything. I keep reaching to, like, caps lock or something to scan for bad guys, but that's not this. This isn't a Real feature in this flip. game. Thank you, Ellie. That was easy. I'm a very good block pick, and I've got... I'm pretty sure it's Felix. I can't remember which one of you does what. Hello. You are a Sambot. Alright, I'll talk to it. I don't think I've got a Guthrie Tossball card. If I do, I've got a second one now. An Augmented Toughening. I've got to have a look at a Workbench at some point. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please you sound like Sam. Return later. Leave. Don't kick Have the auto mech. Than natural day. Thanks. Um. NTVUR. All right. Might be something I have to come back to. I got to get up. Uh, is there a way up through through here? Elevator discovered, but no way to actually access it because there's a pink wall and I think that hurts. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try walking into the energy grid. Uh, hold on. <laughs> on the other hand, I'm gonna notice the decapitated corpse here and actually decide against that particular decision. Uh, maybe the blue one's different. The blue one doesn't do anything. I think this will hurt me. Oh, fuck it, I'll try it. No. Weirdly enough. The decapitated corpse here doesn't mean anything. I can have his helmet, though, and I will. Uh, but there's no way in. I need to shut something down in order to get through there. I don't suppose I can break this window. Can I shoot something? So sometimes, like, sometimes like a generator that will turn it off. What's the point of this one? That just seems to be wasting energy. Maybe it's like a bottleneck? I want to just jump on here. I can't. Well, maybe I can. I'm just not trying. Okay, now this one is a waste of energy. That's the gate. Clearly, there's meant to be more of this. And I'm just noticing. Well, I, I, I mean, I want to explode that and hope that there's some kind of domino effect. Well, if it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do anything. Oxycomp aromatic from Auntie Cleo. All right, get, guys, can I'm you going. just stand away? I'm going to shoot these barrels. I don't think they'll do anything, but it'll be cool if they do. No. All right. My theory was that they might do some kind of, like, domino effect explosive thing. My next theory is to try and get on top of them and scale. I think this might be a little too high for my character to jump. And I don't see a ladder to get on top of here and possibly jump over even then. I might be able to get from there to there, and then to there to there to there, then over there, is my theory, but I don't think it's going to work like that. Mind you, there's some... I get a run up. There we go. I don't think it's... it's this game doesn't do jumping puzzles, so I think... Ugh, come on. So I think, uh, you know, this is me trying to exploit the physics, but I don't think this is going to work. Although, yeah, with the big steel... I don't think it was a steel. Just definitely can't shoot that. Okay, and... Definitely can't break the window. Alright, I'm gonna have to find another way around. I just thought, you know... Uh, Marauder Colossus. Where's my sniper? Target, one. No. Marauder, Marauder Crack Shot. Alright, let's get the drop on these guys. I wrote a berserker. Okay, leave him for last. Doing 
Okay, these guys were... Uh, that guy was on... Oh, shit, hello. I'm gonna heal up again. They're a little more hefty than I had than I had actually bargained for. I'm all right. I might have shot Felix there. Sorry, you look like the Marauders. I should dress you differently. And I and and at this point, uh, let's remember <laughs> to uh, to slap on some actual armor. What am I wearing? What's the best? Oh, that can be sold, by the way. We've got some elite trooper armor, some MSI armor. I'm gonna stick. Yeah, I'm going to stick Felix in the... I can't actually do it for some reason. I think there's Adrena times. I need those back. Sorry about that. I always forget to armor up my guys when going into danger zones. Am I allowed to now? I'm putting on the gold elite troop armor, obviously. Okay, there we go. Ellie... You're getting in some... Here, yeah, that one. Why can't I change you? What the hell's wrong with that? Wait till they're standing still. I don't know if that makes a difference. But for some reason... I can change armor myself. No, there we go. I want you in the MSI armor. Doesn't really matter. But, uh, I think I've got Felix to set more to a close-up thing, but it's okay. As long as you're armored, you're better off than not. I like to change into normal gear when I'm not in any immediate danger. Crashed ship. God damn it, I shot him right in the head with this, which is my best single-shot weapon, and, it, you know... I've, I remember that being an almost insta-shot kill. Marauder Plunderer. I don't really need those helmets. Those aren't very good. I've got to start selling stuff. How am I doing for infantry space? Oh, I'm alright. I mean... It could be better, could be worse. I don't know, I really think there might be a way up here. I'm going to go around this way. It's part of his body, I think. Hmm. Seems like I'm going to have to go around and back based on the topo topographical map. You can kind of see how it goes. So I just I guess I follow this road. And watch out for more bad guys. I don't see anything. What about forward? See, there's like a... There's like a flag. Probably people who own that flag behind it. There usually is. You don't put up banners and, you know, just for fun. Here we go. Marauder crack shot. I want to focus down those guys. Maybe that's when I do use uh, consumables. Also, you know, slow-mo thing. What was the button for that? Let me check that. Okay, Q for tactical time dilation. We got a lot of crack shots. Alright. What the hell? Let's take advantage. Alright, what do we got? We'll, we'll increase range damage. I'll increase range weapon sway, but I'm... I'm Pretty comfortable. I don't need that. I need range damage, sniper critical damage, plus fifteen percent bonus to extra headshot. Okay, that one. Let's drop one of those in there. All right, let's increase armor rating. All right, we're gonna hit up. We're gonna hit up one of these, and then we'll hit the tactical time dilation, and we'll give them hell. One shot. Two. You gotta be nearly down. Oh, someone got hit. 
somebody's near me. Felix is down. Damn it, I I I've got us not have a weapon that's got a charge up. I was moving to my pistol. But that requires you to do that. Because it's a shrink ray. I gotta get used to Felix, you're alright. I, I have, of course, not got companions getting killed for real when they get killed, because you have no idea how quickly they would have died. That worked well enough. I don't think I was helped that much by uh, the consumables, but, you know, it did a little bit, I suppose. Tactical time dilation. I know there's an effect. It increases damage, right? I, need, I thought I needed to re repair that. I'll reload that. Obviously, I don't need to repair it. It's fine. We're all right. You know, Felix got downed, but that's kind of par for the course. That's what my companions are here to do. That would be a frost sword. That would be your mantises. So watch out for those guys. Well, I'll have a look. You ever get the feeling Max is trying to convert you? I don't think I've ever listened close enough to tell. No, me neither. I was the other night, kicking my boots up on the table. Just opened up my latest issue of Tales from Beyond, right? Felix, I didn't know you read. <laughs> Hold on, it gets better. Max was there reading one of his dusty old scriptures, and he just gives me this look. Like I'm a stray cane had wandered into his church. And he says, and he says, Son, do you know what you're doing with your life? Pulling that giant toss ball stick out of your ass? <laughs> Good one, Ellie. I gotta use that line. I don't think she wants to give you ideas. I, Ellie does not like Felix at all. Fully understandable given he's kind of anathemic to her personality. Alright, I found a way up. My first task, I think I found a way up, I, th I found a thing. My first task is to try and get to this portable phonograph over here. That was where I was aimed at, but there's no way up, as far as I can tell. There must be. This map is screwing me around, isn't it? Damn you. I gotta go around, I suppose. Just follow it. Just keep going. I want to get sidetracked. Well, I don't. Well, I am being sidetracked. I'm being actively sidetracked. That's what this looks like. But I don't want to get sidetracked from my sidetracking. Because then it'll, it'll never be over. Do you think this hunting rifle hyper? Let's have a look. Hunting rifle ultra, hunting rifle. Okay, so this is a better rifle. All right, take that, and once I'm in a position to mod it, I'll mod it. Uh, I'll definitely want that to replace that now. Clearly, there's a new level of enemy. Oh, whole that looks almost invisible. It isn't, but it looks almost invisible. Shiver pillar, frost saw soldier, more frost saw soldiers. Felix is just getting absolutely knocked to pieces, but the rest of us are doing fine. Glacial Manti Carapace. I'll take that. Gross. So we got f Frost. Corner with them. This reminds me of the punchline to a joke I heard once. I'll... Ellie, you're going to need to continue and tell me that joke, because I want to hear that. I don't know what it could remind you of. Mantis and a Marauder walked into a bar and got shot in the face by me. Alright, this is the way I'm apparently going. I'm sure I'm going to have to go this way again. But I'm doing this now. Abandoned mines. Yeah, it makes sense. This is like that scene from Terra on Monarch. Shut this up, Felix. Gets buried alive. Right behind you, Captain. Promise. Get in one of these minecarts. 
We're going for a ride, which we will have to do later. <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't have that there if it wasn't a setup. We're going to have a ride in that. I'll take those. So many Adrena times. Or Adrenas. Shiver Pillar and another Frost Source Soldier. So he's switching to another weapon. We're good. They were eating this guy. Another hunting rifle. Hyper. I gotta get my eye out for level 4 weapons, apparently. Pretty sure they didn't exist until now. There's more guys up here, I can hear them. I am getting that goddamn. Thing if it kills me. Oh, I'm gonna... ah. Shoot! Watch out, Ellie! I think we got him. I just gotta remember how to use my weapons. It has been several months since I've last played, and I need to re remember how to do everything. Like, okay, switching back and when to reload and how to switch between weapons and what's the most effective after using this. Because this is kind of a stunny weapon. It floats people up, which is great. But then I got to remember to switch back to my main rifle. And not... I, I haven't used the shrink ray properly yet. I don't think I ever had. We found a place. What a mess. Probably some good salvage here. Mm-hmm. I'm certain I'm, this is a later part of the game I'm nosing into first, but that's what you get for an open world game, you know. The Exhilarating Adventures of Archibald Excelsior, Issue 2. A comic from the classic Ace Exterminator series, tragically cancelled after its brief four-issue run. Scribbled in felt tip on the comic spine is the word friend. After his run-in with the Dancing Queen, proven hero, proven hero, Archibald Excelsior, is mending his broken heart in the glitzy city of, Fair of Fairview. When a horde of vicious crystal canids escapes from the laboratory of an evil, unemployed scientist. <laughs> the evil unemployed. As the canids turn the city to ash with their plasma beam eyes, Excelsior descends into the depths of the lab to put down the leader of the pack, King Alpha. The king uh, connives to sabotage Excelsior's trusty P.E.T. And our hero is forced to fight with the only weapon in reach. The skull of King Alpha's own mother, Empress Crystalline Alpha. Will our mustachioed hero escape the king's jaws and heal his wounded heart? <laughs> that's, oh, that's almost like fucking brutal and I might back that if it were funny. <laughs> like, beating someone to death with the skull of their dead mother is pretty brutal. Couldn't leave another word there. Virgil. Making progress on the- this is from Morris Walton's data pad, by the way, I keep reading ahead. Making progress on the grav plating for the package, though not nearly as fast as you'd like, given the spin rate of Gorgon, the anomaly I've been observing is only present in the sky three hours out of every 24. It doesn't help that I'm- that I have to readjust my telescope every couple of minutes to keep tabs on the slippery bastard. Come by my workstation outside the manufactory dome when you've got a minute. The data this thing is throwing off is strange as all get out. Be ashamed to compromise the package with a misplaced zero, right? By the way, I checked on Eustace. Fumes aren't doing him any favors. We ought to get him out of here as soon as we can. Out of there as soon as we can. How is your sister coming along with the schedule? Uh, by the marvelous mustache of Excelsior, Maurice. P.S. You gotta tell Birdie to stop bringing me food. If I have to eat another damned can of saltuna fillets, I'm gonna hurl. Eustace rem rem uh, is a name that seems to ring a bell, but I'm not sure if it's from this game. <laughs> And I gotta remember some of this information, but I do know it, and it'll probably be more clear to me when I play this game back, or watch this video back. More bit cartridges, marauders got murderized, that's fine. Put away my shrink ray. I might use that, but I don't know. So that'd be the way through. This doesn't... <sighs> This doesn't get me to where I want to go. I cannot, I don't believe at present I can get up here. If I can, I'll tell you what. It's from here, across. 
That's how I get up there. Must be. Must have been a massive waste of time, hasn't it? I think this is going to be OCI over here. Yeah, so let's go there. And then we'll look for the journals once we've seen what we're actually supposed to look at. Ooh. And I have got to mod up my rifle. My new hyper hunting rifle. Let's reload it as well. I thought he was going to rack the bolts. He didn't. Do you want to have a look down here? Mega ice queen. I'll leave that for later. <laughs> I know it's there. I'm fairly certain I can't beat it. I think I want to be down here near the tracks. That's what I was looking for. Ow! I didn't think I jumped that high. Also, my character made an R sound. I've never heard him speak before. I don't know what I imagine his voice is like. But then every voice in my head sounds like the Cookie Monster. Office of Creative Incubation. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. Fast, lo fast travel location. Take so many. I'm going to have so many Adrenas. Alright. Dead combat drone. Might be something I have to worry about. There it is. That's a phonograph. Uh, pressurized injection suit. Not sure. I think it might be a, like a piece of armor, right? Yeah. Let's break that down. I don't need it. And this, that. I don't need it. Alright, let's listen to this phonograph. Close call. I thought I knew the OCI backwards and forwards. The Marauders got a way of finding every nook and cranny on this rock. OCI. Fancy joint. Smells like Wentworth's and leather. A real slice of Byzantium. You don't set that up unless you're planning something big. Adrena time? Sure. But something tells me there's more to the story. Got Ditto. a hunch to follow up on near the old mines. I'm leaving this here. In case I gotta come back. Well, we know there were test subject corpses and Adrena Time's on the market, so there's something else happened here that went wrong. What it is, I can't tell you. But yeah, they are they, they have got like plants here and shit, so they are trying to set something substantial up for the big weeks when they inevitably show up, presumably. That looks like that's just a broken piece. Now, that was one of the is that one of the things I was looking for? In electric fling? No, is it not? That might have just been a, th a thing. That might have just been like, there might just be audio logs around. It doesn't necessarily need to be from that mission. Okay, let's keep my opens for, for um, just phonographs. They might give us clues and Lucky's opinions. Initiating ocular measurement. You sound like a person. Uh, Show the scan of the preserved eye, because I'm intelligent. Measurement complete. Ocular identification complete. Ah, mostly. Welcome, Clarence Mostly. Access granted. Is that the Welcome name I read on the... the Office of Creative Incubation. So there was a name called Mostly, but I don't know if it was a C Mostly. It might be a relative. I should double check that in post. Mostly is just an odd name for a human being, isn't it? Mr. Mostly. Doesn't go well. Take all of that. Gotta sell a bunch of junk. Yeah, this does feel very Byzantium. Mind you, this... Ooh, look at that. He's holding a sword, but I thought it was a shotgun. I wouldn't hold a sword like that. You're gonna cut your hand, Mr. Moon Guy. See, that's more correct. That's, that's better. Wait, this is a space restore's office? Something's definitely off. Yeah, yeah, it looks a little above their general, um, it looks very Byzantium. Like, Space's Choice does things on the cheap, this is way too ornate. Well, let's find out. Take all of that, ooh. No, there's a bit cartridge, just thought there was like a key card. Very green around here, I don't like the green, it's an unpleasant color, never, 
this, oh god, <laughs> it's hard to look at. I can't, I can, like, if you're colorblind, this is gonna just be a big blank wall. Uh, a spacer's choice property, best ideas since pre-sliced bread. Reception desk by, uh, welcome, I am logged in as W. McKay. Uh, messages, let's read them. Messages accompany property, bada bada bada. Okay, uh, from good fellow subject, reception, procedure, and protocol. To McKay, after some deliberation, I've decided to update your standard procedure and protocol while you operate for the front desk. Commit the following to memory. Do greet visitors and workers with a smile. Do mention Spaces Choice brand products and services in your daily greetings. Do monitor and report extended lavatory breaks. <laughs> Don't mention our surveillance and security system to arriving visitors. Don't talk about the incident. Don't let any auditors into the upper floors under any circumstances. Failure to adhere to Protocol 6 will result in a demerit on your permanent record. I don't mean to be harsh with you, McKay. You're part of our family, too. Lawrence Goodfellow Management. Hmm, upper floor. Well, obviously, immediately I want to check what's on the upper floor, and I want to know about the incident. And shut down the surveillance as well. Wow. Unlock the lavatory door, and might as well unlock the showcase. I've got the hack for it. Where's the lavatory? Start with that. Ooh. Ah, the spacer's chosen. Lousiest team that ever did swing a tossball stick. That sounds accurate, they really yeah. Think Adrena timed us all that? Uh, lightning reflexes, keen skills, more kills, Adrena time. But I'm just thinking, does it have something to do with tactical time violation? Because that feels like what Adrena time's supposed to be doing. Keep your egg steady and your trigger finger at the ready. Adrena time brings out the hero in you. I've got Adrena time, haven't I? Let's check that. Yeah, there it is. T 66 of them. Movement speed increase, weapon attack speed plus 20, and then you crash. Walk speed minus 10. See, I've never used it because of that. I don't like it with negatives. It's got side effects, though. They, they didn't think it would have side effects, but it definitely does. Uh, leave the competition behind with Adrena time, and that looks like an interesting... Hitty people, hit people with a big pipe with some weird stuff stuck to the end of it. This is their toss ball team, is it? Proudly located in the bloodstream of the entire Spacer's chosen toss ball team. Adrena time, putting the performance in performance enhancing drugs. Show your boss that you are prime, because you take Adrena time. All right. Now, productive towns run on Adrena time and enhance your output with chemical input. Don't let sleep rob you of your life. Cut your resting hours in half and double your productivity with Adrena time. Show your boss that you are prime because, because you take Adrena time. time. I could mention the ethics of trying to basically enhance your worker force by drugging, by keeping them consistently drugged. But I don't feel like I need to. Isn't that, like, blindingly obvious? Let's take that. Mechanical sentry. Alright, this way I want to go behind. Gourmet or tuna fish. Oh, gourmet. I'll take them then. If they weren't gourmet, I wouldn't have touched them with a 10-foot pole. Pick up a flywheel. Might need that. Might not. Might just be a flywheel. I'm pretty sure that's just junk. All right, let's get inside here. Let's open now. I opened a lavatory. This is not a lavatory. I mean, you could use it as a lavatory, but I wouldn't. That's all right. I'm just here to pick up ammo. What do we got? Like machine gun Mark III. None of you guys are machine gunners. You're both rifle. Are you? I think I gave Nioka the machine gunner. You've got a pistol, a bolter pistol. I should probably get you a better firearm. But right now, you've got a pretty good bolter pistol. And you've got an assault rifle ultra. Look into that. It's a slightly better assault rifle ultra. For some reason, why haven't you got that? Have that. Here you go. Don't need the light machine gun. Nioka has a benefit to it. A perfect game. No idea. Let's have a look. Staring at the weapon long enough, you'd swear you can hear the roar of a stadium. Okay. So it's something to do with a uh, toss ball, and it's better than that, so have it. It's all yours. Uh, Felix. 
I always give him a toss ball stick for a or champion toss ball stick. I'll take that too. And then gourmet saltina fillets, loads of them. Yum. What do they do? Just out of curiosity. Uh, max base health plus 25 lasts for two minutes. It's actually not bad. Okay. This side then. I'll start from the back and work my way forward towards the desk. This is sealed. This one isn't. That's the lavatory. Oh. I was just gonna ask how these leaves got in there. Probably from that plant, which is clearly overgrowing. I don't know if I'd put a plant in a bathroom. Hmm. Hypodermics in a bathroom. Don't really want to pick that up. I, gotta, I, I can't pick up too much... Cons too many consumables because I don't use them fast enough and I will just weigh myself down pretty quick. Alright, that one's broken. This one's unlocked. I don't know what the extra... I'll take this. Look, Matthew Singh, he looks new. And a ring I can sell and some cartridges. I got to sell all my junk. Bypass shunt, of course I'll take those. And jeweled ring. In fact, I'm going to sell stuff here while I'm... Let's go to... General. No. Sell. I'm looking for sell. Looking for junk. I've got a bunch of this crap. Let's sell it all. I can get rid of the old crappy toss ball stick. If I could take the modifications off it, I would. It's only got a Mr. Zap on. Let's just sell that. Do I... I think I want that... I don't know. See, there's my light machine gun. That's for Neoka. I can get rid of this, right? I don't know if I can take stuff up. <laughs> Even the vending machines play it. That's ammo, I want that. It's heavy ammo, though. I don't use much heavy ammo. I think I think it's this. This is heavy ammo, right? Flywheel, yeah, that is just junk. Check the cash registers, obviously. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's going to be... Oh, there was a door. Fast ration pill. That oh, might be useful. Glacier water. Alright. Armor uh, parts, weapon parts, light ammo, auto mag pistol. I wish I could see what it was. You're using a... Auto... Are we using a bolter pistol, aren't you, Ellie? What does this do? Hmm. That's fully decked out. Maybe I could use that. You know what? I'm going to use that because I don't much like this shrink ray. I need something I can shoot people with quickly. Rather than have to wait for it to charge up. Nothing worse than... Specifically me, who's very reactive and not very sort of plan ahead kind of person. I need a weapon I can whip out and shoot in a moment's notice. I don't know why I keep demonstrating what shooting looks like. I think you know what that looks like. Space's Corona. That goes upstairs, and I think that's where I'm trying to get to. And where was the door that nobody wanted me in? Uh, employer rights under the Biased Labor Standards Act. Way determined by merit of your work. Overtime may result in higher pay if the quality of said work is considered exemplary. Your employer has the right to dock your pay should you damage any facilities or equipment. It is your responsibility, not your employer's, to avoid workplace hazards. Halcyon Colony, Department of Labor. I'm surprised they even bother with the Department of Labor. Like, why maintain the pretense? Toughened. Uh, no... Whoa, is a skeleton? Can't get in there, that I can see. But it's under these stairs. Floor two. 
Well, I don't think there's anywhere else I can go downstairs, and I'm there was a supposedly a space I might be able to get into. Now there is actually stuff behind here, but there's a whole bunch of junk preventing me from entering. It sounds like a bad guy in there. There's a whole bunch of junk preventing me from getting in there, so I don't know. Okay. I heard a noise. I saw something. That was weirdly creepy. Did you see that? Oh, uh, I've got a lot of... I've got a lot of red on my compass. And a lot of, like, blockages. I don't think I can force my way through that. Okay, okay. So it looks like we're about to have a fun time. We've got a lot of bots to fight. That's fine. I'm not going to sneak past them. Oh. Hi, guys. I wonder... about you. I wonder indeed, because you're just standing there waiting for me. Hmm. Weirdly, that's not opening. I thought you pulled the axe out. But no, there's a hole in this wall that I completely missed. Marauder Colossus. Okay. Oh, somebody noticed me. Berserker. Okay. You noticed me. That's okay. You know what I'm going to do. Jackass is incoming. Not what I wanted you to do. Oh, fucking hell, Felix. What is up with Felix? He's the significantly less impressive than um Ellie here. Ellie just Ellie fought the same guy Felix was fighting and smashed him by and large. F Felix Felix is on the ground. Maybe he's not the right man for this. Okay, we got a lot of other guys. Let's take this carefully. It's this weapon I think I'm Gonna be most. Best you get what you pay for with Space Choice guards too. Yeah. Elite troop armor gold. Maybe you need that, Felix. Maybe I'm gonna give you that. Try that. What are you wearing? Level 64 MSI armor. It's slightly better, and it's not decked out. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to find a. Let's just. We'll come back to this. I'll have to find for you, Felix, some mods, and we're gonna have to go through your weapons and armor, and or just figure out how not to make you charge in. I think you're more of a ranged character than you are a close up, or well, something's going wrong. Ooh, white chocolate yummies! I love white chocolate. Which is it actually kind of chocolate? It's not like. It's not as not chocolate as a lot of chocolate puritan uh, puritans purists would like would have you think. It is actually made of the same stuff chocolate is often made out of, just not all of it. And it's good anyway. Doesn't matter. Maybe I should give him a shotgun. Maybe he'd be better off with a shotgun rather than a rifle. I won't tell. Who would you tell? You're with me. Aren't you in favor of stealing? Especially considering we're not stealing, we're looting. Alright. This is the first one I saw, so it's the first one I'm going to read. Spaces choice property. The best idea since pre-sliced bread. Status. Uh, turret status active. Hallway status secure. Dis dissident threat minimal. Let's obviously hack 40 and reverse intruder definitions. That should be good. We'll check the other computers, but I'm, I'm like 90% certain they'll do almost exactly the same thing. Oh, no, we've got messages. Uh, Department of Strategic Branding. <laughs> awesome. From OCI Cerebral Committee, subject unacceptable results. Uh, by the way, I should read what's on the page. I usually skip the first message. Thank you for using Gimsy. 
Your employer-sanctioned messaging system. Friendly reminder, your messages are company property. Unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or deletion of GIMC content may result in early termination of your employment contract. Alright. Go down. We've got unacceptable results from OCI Cerebral Committee. Uh, hereby decided by unanimous vote that your recent test results from human inquiry and auditing are unacceptable, untenable, and unsatisfactory. This message is an informal expression of our dissatisfaction, which will be formally declared by a memorandum in the near future. While the committee recognizes that the marketing potential of, un of insomnia and chemical dependency... <laughs> The remaining side effect described in HI's latest report are incompatible with the OCI's vision of Adrena Time product. Corporate auditors will expect to see a product that dramatically improves the long-term productivity of spaces choice workers by reducing the need for rest and mitigating the effects of long-term melancholia. The product delivered to HIA includes psychosis, violent behavior, paranoia, and alarmingly disobedience. The OCI cannot accept a product that transforms long-term users into dissidents. The damage to our corporate image will inevitably benefit our rivals at Auntie Cleo, unanimously OCI cerebral community. So, I, I suppose that's why Adrena Time didn't... But they still put it on the market, they don't mind it, they just don't think it's the panacea to their worker problem that they were hoping for. Certainly not that would uh, uh, outperform anything Auntie Cleo had. Uh, from good fellow subject, relax. To my colleagues, <laughs> relax. To my colleagues at the OCI Cerebral Committee, I share your concerns but not your alarm. In times like these, I encourage you to recall a passage from our Spaces Choice Users Manual. Is it their Bible? Failures of subordinates must never become failures of leadership. Scum. CH. Sorry, I just realized I didn't know. I didn't. I, I don't do an acronyms in my head, but Spaces Choice Users Manual, Scum, Chapter Twenty One, Article XIV, uh, Article Fourteen. The meaning is simplicity itself. HIA has failed to deliver acceptable results because they have failed to perform their professional obligations. My esteemed colleagues, you and I possess a number of law-given qualifications, but we have not been relegated to lab coat work. Let me reiterate, we are not test tube jockeys. We are leaders. HIA's purpose is to deliver test results. Our purpose is to deliver a quarterly report. I'd like you to reach out to Myram Kumara at the Strategic Branding, have her team clean up HIA's report, trim out the fat and tuck in its guts, make it look presentable for the auditors. So they put it out anyway. And from the committee... My team and I have finished reviewing HIA's latest experimental report. We believe the failure of the report is manifest in its flagrant disregard for company-approved language. To that end, we have drafted a revised report, edited with language consistent with the Spaces Choice Company vision. The HIA's original report mentions clear evidence of dangerous side effects associated with the using Adrena Time product, including but not limited to paranoia, violent confusion, chemical dependence, and dissident adjacent behavior. Uh, we propose the following connotative revisions. Dangerous side effects, exciting collateral benefits, paranoia, dramatically heightened attention, violent confusion, physically assertive behavior, chemical dependence, metabolic compatibility, and dissident adjacent behaviors. Any mention of dissident behavior in this report may encourage dissidents. Recommend cutting out the phrase entirely out of respect for our readers. But it still has those effects. You don't want that on the market anyway. I mean, like, even if you think you can make it amenable to your auditors, surely you don't want it on the market because it's going to eventually reduce your company, like, your quarterly, quarterly earnings. Oh, God, there's a lot here. Uh, let us test from human inquiry with some additional commentary. Fortuitously, I have had the opportunity to review the latest test results from human inquiry. I agree with your and the committee's general assessment that these test results are unacceptable. The latest experimental sample of Adrena Time demonstrates a 15 out of 17 possible symptoms in my rubric of dangerous, lethal, or otherwise high risk side effects. I have sent a full report to your desk, the abstract of which is as follows. Adrenal Time in its current state fails to meet this project standards. By my calculations, Adrenal Time users trade short-term improvements in productivity for long-term losses in productivity. Specifically, dead workers or unproductive workers. 
Whenever a calculation produces an unforeseen result, it is prudent to take a look at one's numbers. Incorrect numbers may lead to flawed calculations. If the HIA's calculations are sound, then their numbers, that is to say the drugs provided by chem labs, must be flawed. Your esteemed Clarence, Mr. Clarence, mostly. On further analysis, I have not yet received your correspondence regarding my previous letter. I can only assume you are. No, they were going to put it out anyway, are chewing over my commentary, but they weren't. I have several additional insights. I believe the root of the problem lies in the chem lab, as I mentioned in my previous letter. As I mentioned in my previous letter, incorrect numbers lead to flawed calculations. The problem, therefore, must be found in Dr. Jasper Law and his stewardship of the chem lab. Dr. Lowe, sorry, not Law, Lowe. It'd be like calling him Mr. God in this world. Dr. Lowe is a notoriously lackadaisical and careless manager and, pardon my language, a poor scientist. Chemlad must provide HIA with safe, high-quality, carefully refined drug uh, with which to conduct tests. This slapdash, artless, high-risk formula Chemlab has been delivering to HIA can only result in unacceptable results. I understand the safety and high-quality development are often antithetical to the corporate strategy of Space's choice, but in my life I have found that the perspective of an outsider can be helpful. They weren't the fuck listening to him. To Goodfellow, from whoever's writing this, uh, from mostly. Uh, your response to my previous two letters are conspicuous by their absence, based on my analysis of your personality types, dietary habits, patterns of speech, mode of dress. I must conclude with reasonable certainty that your silence stems from trepidation and anxiety. <laughs> He's trying to be as absolutely, like, respectful and polite as humanly possible to tell these guys to stop fucking around. If I might presume to offer you some advice cultivated after years of living in Byzantium, may I suggest that your anxiety stems merely from ignorance? Ignorance is the easiest of vices to rectify, and requires only learning and heeding the advice of one's betters. Okay, that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit, uh, presumptive. Or at the very least, condescending. The success and failure of any project depends on the readiness of its constituent staff to perform their mandated duties. Scientists perform experiments, researchers research, managers manage. When one of these roles acts, out, acts outside of its limitations, chaos is introduced into the system. Take heart. You need not fear the burden of management. My secret of good leadership is strong oversight combined with careful, fastidious, numerically driven, and scientifically supported management. The turbulence experienced by this project is emphatically not the fault of the OCI, however, it is the role and duty of the OCI to fix these problems. Ours is the only department capable of writing the ship of innovation in the waters of chaos, with paternal affection, Mr. Clarence, mostly. Okay, what I'm getting from this is that mostly, Mr. Mostly, uh, didn't agree with the numbers and the drugs being peddled by the labs and try to bring it up with the, uh, the managers, but the managers weren't hearing about it. They wanted short-term, they wanted something on the market quickly, but like, it seems obvious that anything on the market is going to be worse than, I need the maintenance room key for that, is going to be worse than nothing on the market based on what the side effects of the drug actually are. Mostly was worried about that because he's a scientist, I think and, or at the very least, a science-focused manager, whereas the rest of the management were just, you know, didn't give a shit and just wanted that thing out there so that they could report uh, positive. Hello. That's a turret. Okay. They could report something to Space's Choice. That's my understanding of that entire system. They... Uh, mostly might be the good guy here, although it's hard to tell he was a little bit condescending. Anyway, there's music being played here. This sounds like a bar. And there's a man there. He might have something to say, or he might want to kill me. Either way, it sounds like it's going to be a bunch of fun. 